All right, guys, you're listening to Josh here on Classic Hits 92.5 KVPI. And at this time, I'm joined by NBC's The Voice contestant, Adam Pierce. Adam, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. So you auditioned for season 12, but unfortunately, uh, no chairs turned. However, Adam Levine of Maroon 5 did give you some advice on things to improve on and encouraged you to go back and audition again. So fast forward to this season, you auditioned once again. And what were some of those things that you worked on to get you prepared for this year's season? Well, I've never really had to focus on my voice as much as I did in those six months between season 12 and season 13. And um, even though you know they told me to come back, that, that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get invited back. So only... Three people got invited back in season 12, and I'm the only one that made it through of those three people. So it's like, even though I'm doing all this work, like, I'm, like, preparing for this moment that might not even happen, like, until I got that call telling me to go back for season 13, you know? Right. Um, so I'm still, like, just really, really, really thinking and focusing and, and, and paying attention to my voice and how I sing and what I do more than I ever had, you know, in the 13 years I sang before that. And and all of that was also for a moment that might not even happen, but thankfully I did get the call back, and, and they really did want me to come back, and that was, you know, that that's obviously worked out for me. Absolutely. Apparently, whatever you did, it worked. Both Miley Cyrus and Adam Levine turned their chairs during your audition this season. Uh, why did you ultimately choose to be on Team Adam? Well, and, and I told this to Miley, you know, as well. It was honestly kind of a, a loyalty thing, just... From season twelve and all the thing, all the kind things and, and and constructive things that he told me, it was you know I had that sense of loyalty. Like I'm going to go back and I'm going to show him what I can do, and then we're going to work together. And uh, you know I would you know I would have had that same. The real dilemma would have been if Blake had turned around because you know he was also there and he also said really encouraging and nice things to me, but uh, he didn't turn around, so that he made that decision easy. But it was always going to be Adam. You know it, it, it was. It would have been really hard for me to go with Miley originally. As much as it, I, w- I would have loved to, it was always going to be Adam, I think. Awesome. And recently you were stolen by Team Miley. Uh, what was going through your mind when Miley Cyrus took you to now be on her team? Well, uh, before the knockout, I always kind of thought that I had that card in my pocket that Miley might steal me because you know, I knew she liked me and she turned for me in the blind. Right. But she waited until last minute. I didn't think she was going to do it. Like, she had me fooled. So I went and I shook their hands and I hugged them all by. And I'm like, all right, I guess I'm going home. That was a good run. And if you take a step past Blake Shelton's chair, they turn those buttons off. And I was like a foot away from stepping past that line when she did it. Wow. Uh, they didn't air it, but I even was like, I got back on stage and I was like, why did y'all have to make that so dramatic? <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, I, yeah, I mean, I was completely blown away, especially since she waited to the last minute, or so last second. Um, I, was not, I did not see it coming. This is Josh here on 92.5 KVPI. We're talking with Adam Pierce from The Voice on NBC. Adam, you currently uh, live in New Orleans, but you're actually from Bunky, which is not very far from us here in Ville Platte. How has the support been for you locally in Bunky in New Orleans or here in Louisiana? Um with my family, all my family still, a lot of my family is still in Bunky, and, um, you know, obviously they all, they all support me. Um, I, I haven't been there in forever, and it's, you know, it's not because I'm, <laughs> it's just because I've been too busy, honestly. I haven't been back with Bunky in, since July, but I'm going to head up there for Thanksgiving. Um, but, yeah, I mean, everybody, everybody there is great, everybody there is supportive. Um, I've seen it all over social media, and uh, I've been in the paper there a few times, so that, you know, that's been, that's been pretty cool. Awesome. Uh, you have performed songs from artists that we play here on 92.5 KVPI. Uh, what are some of the artists that you grew up listening to and idolizing, perhaps influencing your style a bit? Well, I was telling the last interviewer, um, classic rock is obviously my biggest influence. My very first CD was Leonard Skinner's Greatest Hits. Um, awesome. <laughs> uh, I grew up that. Um, Led Zeppelin is huge. I'm in a Led Zeppelin tribute band that we play around town New Orleans. Um, that was the biggest. But my number one influence as a vocalist and as a songwriter and musician in general was Chris Cornell. He um, he was the best. You know, Soundgarden, All Your Slave. Like, I think if you listen to my original music, you can hear a very, very strong influence from Chris Cornell. But I was uh, really bummed to see him go. 
he was definitely he was definitely number one for me. Cool deal, um, Adam. Where can people find you online? Um, it's my Facebook, Adam Facebook dot com slash Adam Pierce, uh, Twitter slash Adam Pierce, or Adam Pierce Music. Instagram's Adam Pierce Official, and then I have Adam Pierce Music dot com. If you uh, if you Google me and you spell my last name right, which is P E A R C E, uh, you'll find me. Even though there's also a wrestler that's really famous. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Adam Scrap Iron Pierce. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that when I was looking you up, man. I said, uh, Adam Pierce. I'm loving me on the, on the internet. So. Awesome. Well, man, I love your story, and all of us here in Louisiana are rooting for you. Uh, you can see and vote for Adam Pierce from nearby Bunky, Louisiana, on The Voice. The Voice airs Monday and Tuesday nights on NBC. This week, they'll have a three-night event. It'll also air on Wednesday. Adam, thanks again for joining us this morning, and best of luck to you as you continue to chase your dreams in music. We'll be watching. All right, man. Thanks for having me. Y'all have a good one.